The U.S. Senate voted 56 to 44 that they could impeach a private citizen, a former president of the United States. Of course, in this case, it's Donald Trump. There were a lot of senators who believed this was unconstitutional. We still believe it is unconstitutional. We had this prohibition against passing Bill of Attainers against private citizens in Article One of our Constitution. But now the U.S. Senate is trying a private citizen because they are a former president. Now, former presidents are still subject to the law. If they did something illegal, even while they were in office, especially once they're out of office, they're subject to normal criminal law. If there was insurrection, sedition, all of this that, that President Trump is being accused of, a regular prosecutor could bring those charges against him. They haven't been. He's not been arrested for, for these crimes. The rioters, the people who committed crimes on January 6th, rightfully have been arrested. They did commit crimes. They did something wrong. Even after the Senate voted that they had the constitutional authority to carry on with this trial, that the Chief Justice isn't there. It says clearly that the Chief Justice shall preside. He has no choice in the impeachment trial of a president. It doesn't say he shall preside over the impeachment trial of a former president. The Democrats, they can't force him to be there. He doesn't have to be there. And he's not there. So that's another reason why this is an impeachment sham. If you can impeach former officials, including the President of the United States, can we impeach President Obama for Fast and Furious? Can we impeach President Obama for the targeting of conservatives by the IRS? Can we impeach President Obama for Benghazi? How do you draw a line? I don't think you can. I think it's really going to be up to the U.S. Senate to say, we'll never do this again. And that is why we believe still at the Americans are for law and justice, this entire impeachment hoax, this second impeachment, if you will, is no impeachment at all. Because who is on trial? It's not the president, as the Constitution says. It's a U.S. citizen, not subject to the jurisdiction of the United States Senate. We've got a petition up at aclj.org to stop this unconstitutional impeachment trial. Sign your name today at aclj.org.